morning. It is beginning of March and I am on trail to hike Oyster Dome, which is a small uh, mountain, I guess, which is a coastal mountain of sorts up just north of Anacortes. And it is a beautiful overlook of the ocean and everything. Um, I started at the lower trailhead, so um, I am doing seven and a half miles round trip with roughly 1,800 feet of gain. Um, and an exciting thing about this trail is we have beautiful weather today, so it's gonna be an amazing view up top, but this is also along the Pacific Northwest Trail, which I've been wanting to do some more day hikes on. Um, that's another one of these long distance national scenic trails and a good chunk of it is here in Washington. So ah, should be fun. Well, so far, this section is really lovely. I love these um, coastal forest the trees are always really, really neat. And uh, this trail is beautifully maintained. Oh my goodness, it's wide, it's nicely graded. Nothing crazy about the terrain. Like, this is so runnable. I'm probably gonna be able to run down this whole thing if I feel like it. Um, but I wanted to add that the last time I did Oyster Dome, I've done Oyster Dome before, it was 2014. So it has almost been 10 years since, God, it has almost been 10 years since I've been to this trail, which is crazy to think about, but I'm excited because back in 2014, when I did this trail, the top was socked in. We went on a cloudy day and didn't get the view. So it is clear today, so <laughs> finally gonna get that view. First view. Wow. Huh. So I haven't even uh, gained the ridge yet and connected to like the the main trail from the the PNT connector, but it's already this awesome little viewpoint, this bench, and I mean that amazing view behind me. That's not bad. That is pretty good.
I made it up to the point where it connects with the upper trailhead for Oyster Dome and as I'm sure you can see also very excited about I'm also very excited about the fact that the sun oh the sun feels so nice it isn't freezing this morning but it's definitely in the high 30s low 40s so it's chilly and it's always nice to get sun you know in the winter here around here but now I am on the long kind of flatter section before the final climb up the dome this is like another couple miles but uh, now I'm gonna get some beautiful lighting and some views along the way if I recall correctly there's some cool boulders and stuff so <sighs> This is a perfect day for this. noticed there was some snow around me um, we had some a couple bouts of lowland snow uh, over the last couple weeks and definitely in a lot of sections along here um, it has not melted I guess the shade has protected quite a bit of it on this side so it's been kind of on and off snow which is beautiful so there might be some snow up top, which will just make it prettier. within the last half mile and the snow became consistent and slippery and packed so um, I ended up having to put my spikes on I I have them you know just just in case but I wasn't really expecting to need to use them today I knew there was some snow but wow pretty fun so spiking up the last half mile to the top and get that awesome view. made it to the top of Oyster Dome. These are the cliffs that overlook the San Juan Islands. And there are a couple of viewpoints because this is like cliffy ledges. So I'm gonna be exploring because like there's this area here and then there's like the top part over there and there's a viewpoint there and then there's ledges down there. But this is, the view and 
I guess I'll give the tour. Uh, these are the Thailands. Um, over there, the city in the distance, that is Anacortes. And then you get out into the San Juan Islands. And the one, the really tall one back there, that is Orcas Island, and I believe uh, Mount Constitution. And uh, I started basically at sea level. So I came up basically this whole thing and oh my goodness worth coming back for the view this is awesome i'm gonna check out all the viewpoints to get some really cool shots and stuff now and take some photos So this is a uh, part of the lower viewpoint and the clouds are kind of clearing. You can kind of see the Olympics in the background. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, I just took a lot of footage and got a lot of pretty photos and I can't believe it. I've been up here for half an hour. The weather is gorgeous and I'm alone. I don't I don't know how I keep doing this. This is this is incredible. Yeah, so there's the main viewpoint area which I just showed. And now um the second one that faces um east northeast kind of um and not a lot of people go to this one especially judging by how much i'm breaking through snow right now so huh. but i remember this being cool oh wow oh my god that I can see some massive mountains up in Canada. Holy cow. <sighs> this is very peaceful. Not as open, but I can see into Canada. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Those are some gigantic mountains. <sighs> yeah, this is um like 16 miles south of Bellingham, Washington. So pretty, you know, within sight distance of the Canadian border. <sighs> Amazing. Seeing that really makes me want to prioritize a trip up into Canada. Those mountains really are awesome looking. Um, but now I'm going to start heading back down because, boy, I got to take my time and I was able to take my time and enjoy the top. It is just serene and Oh man, wasn't expecting this much snow, but I'm so glad there was. It's just made it so much more beautiful. This has been great. <laughs> so worth coming back here to finally get the view.
trail. Don't don't mean to alarm you. Oh, there he, there he goes. Aw. Oh, he's looking at me. Hi. I think that's an owl we're hearing too, but oh, hello guy. Well, I made it back down to the car and that was amazing. It took me nine years to come back here and I finally got the view. And boy, was it an awesome view. This is the lower trailhead. I guess I'll go into some of the logistics. So there are quite a few ways you can access Oyster Dome. So you might be somewhat confused about the route I took. There is a lower trailhead that basically starts, I guess, 50 feet above the ocean and then you go up. I'm pretty sure I took the hardest route or the route with the most gain up and that was intentional because I am training for a lot of exciting stuff this spring. Um, but there is another trailhead that's like 800 feet higher um, and that's the standard route a lot of people take and then there's another way to access it. So do your research because yeah there are a couple ways to do Oyster Dome so you can kind of pick your own adventure and your own difficulty but I signed up for the hardest one because, yeah, I need to get in some mileage and some gain for spring hiking. But, wow, Oyster Dome was beautiful, and I was not expecting that much snow. I obviously had stuff to prepare for snow, but I'm really surprised that it lingered that long because it's not like this thing is very high in elevation, but it just made it more beautiful. And, my goodness, I... I'm not the luckiest person in the world, but I do seem to have a string of good luck with getting very popular places all to myself. Um, not without a little bit of, you know, planning around that, but that was amazing. And I think the view is just spectacular. All of it is great, but oh man, getting to see that peak up into Canada and some of those massive mountains was just, oh my goodness. Anyway, I highly recommend this trail. It is really nicely graded and easy the entire way. There's nothing like difficult terrain wise. Um, it's really great uh, for, you know, families, dogs. It's nice and wide. It's really beautiful. Um, the only word of caution I would say is it gets cliffy up at the top. So, you know, watch the kids and the dogs there. But um, yeah, Oyster Dome is a classic around here. And I finally get to see why and appreciate that gorgeous view. Anyway, I am going to get going. Thank you so much for watching, and here are my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy.